You haven't asked me why the boat came. Why the boat, Adrian? Well, there's no road. My house is only reachable by boat. It's quite a little fortress. Not much further. I'm dying to see it. Not much longer. Look over that way. Well, what do you think? It's different. I'll wait until I've seen inside before I enlarge upon that. Heel! I'm sorry, I should have warned you. Some of the inhabitants of Willow Bend are not used to strangers. But don't worry, you're quite safe as long as I'm here. But they're not pets, they're guard dogs. They're beautiful. Maybe so, but don't touch them. House! Shall we go? Extraordinary place. I can't wait to explore. Exploring comes later. First, let's get you settled. Kay, Bernard will take you to your room in a moment. Just wait here. Linda, your room up here. Thank <laughs> you. 
suppose that leads up to the tower. Come in. I said come in. Who's that? What's the matter, darling? Nothing. I couldn't find the light switch and I got a bit scared. I'm sorry. I should have had Bernard show you. One forgets how quickly it gets dark this time of year. Never mind. Come and meet my aunts. Okay, Aunt Evelyn. And Aunt Emma. Welcome to Willow Bend, my dear. An unusual little house, I think you'll agree. We especially decided to give you a room near the tower, because you'll no doubt find it romantic. Girls of your age are romantic, are they not, Evelyn? So I seem to remember, my dear. And you like horses, so your mother tells me, which is all to the good. I like your mother. I find her refreshingly simple. I have as yet no evidence on which to base an opinion of you. Sit down and talk. Well, 
I like the house. I thought it was a bit strange when we had to come by the river. Adrian said there was no road. But why? Well, my dear, that was a decision of our ancestors. And I bless them for their wisdom. The hills around here make a road to the highway an expensive and difficult proposition. And so it has never been built. It limits the number of visitors, which is exactly as I like. Talk some more. Ian, come and meet our guests. Linda, Kay, I'd like you to meet my son, Ian. Hello, Ian. Hello. Dinner is in five minutes. He is very shy. He's a sullen boy. I hope Kay will be able to provide him with a good example. It is true that the house needs a great deal of attention. And until now, Adrian has had little time to be involved. But he has plans, which I hope he will soon be able to put into practice. There'd be an awful lot of maintenance on a house this size. I don't know how you manage. Oh, well, we don't, my dear. Do we, Evelyn? As you see, it falls down around our ears. But that will soon be remedied, Adrian, will it not? Circumstances, as you say, aren't, are about to change. All being well, in two months, the way should be cleared to restore the house. In fact, the entire farm to what it once was. Oh, wonderful. I'd love to see it when it's finished. If things go as I plan, you have a most important part to play in the success of the venture. Oh, really? Tell me more. In time, my dear. Things aren't quite ready yet. Ian, please stay here. I would like you to be sociable. Sit next to Kay and talk to her. I'm looking forward to seeing the horses. Are you interested in horses yourself? I suppose you would be living here. Tell me, are you the sort of person who likes frightening people in the dark? You and Bernard must have some lovely chats.
Yes, the riding. Bernard will have the horse ready for you after breakfast. Thank you. Now, I don't want to restrict your enjoyment, but I must ask you not to go past the western boundary fence or through the northern gate. There's a jumping circuit in the river paddock and plenty of room for a run. I see. Thanks. Good. I'm ready. Have a nice day, Bernard. Sorry, boss. I don't even know what your name is. No one was polite enough to introduce us. My name's Kay. Well, I hope you're a bit more friendly than the rest of the locals. up there by the tower. Wonder who belongs to the room next to it. I see. Well, horse, looks like you and me looking forward to a great weekend. I'd like to see how you can gallop. And this looks like a good place to stretch you out. What he doesn't know won't hurt him. If he doesn't want people to use this paddock, he should get a proper gate. <coughs> Maybe he doesn't need to. As a weekend guest, I'd begin to think I was something else. Like a prisoner. No offence, but I've lost the mood for riding. Mum, wake up. I think she's best left to sleep. The country air must have affected her. But she never sleeps like this. You'll find, my dear, that at Willow Bend, people tend to sleep very deeply indeed. I think you'd best come outside now and let her wake in her own time. from your ride much sooner than we expected, my dear. I hope nothing went wrong. No, it was fine. I just wasn't in the mood. I think I'll go upstairs and read. But you can read down here, my dear. There are plenty of books. No, thanks. I brought some with me. 
I'd like to go to my room. Well, this seems a strange time of day for a healthy young girl to be going to her room. Come into the kitchen and I'll make you some tea. No, thanks. I'd like to go upstairs. But there are plenty of other things to do. Have you seen the old mill in the garden? Yes, I rode past it. Excuse me. She will be more than a friend. She will be your sister. But before that, you will sleep. 